You wrote a powerful story, uh, article in the Wall Street Journal today, among other things. David, you write this. You say, the Russian decision to declare me persona non grata is more than an action against a single journalist. It is an admission that the system under President Vladimir Putin cannot tolerate free speech, even in the case of foreign correspondence. So, and you say this is an ominous sign, even though you're the first American journalist expelled from Russia in a long, long time. That's absolutely true. Uh, the first, as far as I know, since the Cold War. But uh, it's an ominous sign because the expulsion of even one journalist is a warning to every journalist. And it, uh, it's intended to encourage self-censorship. It's encouraged to create a psychology in which people feel that there are some t subjects that they can't raise. And Russia is a country that has a lot of secrets. They, the Russians claim that uh, you're to blame for your expulsion because you waited five days to renew your visa, get a multiple entry visa. They say that you didn't follow the rules, and that's why you no longer are welcome there. To that, you say... Well, to that, I say they can say anything they want. What, happens, what happened, in effect, is that the document that I needed in order to, uh, to uh, get a visa was not given to me. They told me that, uh, that there were some problems. They would give it to me in a couple of days and that I could take it later. I couldn't get the visa without that document. They sat on it. So it was a situation which they created themselves specifically to have an excuse, some, something that they could say in order to confuse opinion in the world once the news got out that they had uh, expelled me. The real reason for the expulsion, though, was uh, uh, explained to me in Kiev where a diplomat in the Russian embassy in, in, uh, in Kiev read, read a statement to me, and that statement said that the uh, competent organs, which is the phrase that's used in Russia for the security police, for the FSB, have determined that your presence on the territory of the Russian Federation is undesirable, and you're banned from entering Russia. That was the real reason. Now, in other words, I was, I was uh, excluded from the country at the demand of the FSB. All of this stuff about visa, deadlines, that's all, uh, that's all a pretense that they created so that they can have something with which to confuse people after the fact. I was surprised they did this to you on the eve of the Sochi Winter Olympics. They've been taking some steps to show that they're a little bit more open, a little bit more moderate, and all of a sudden they expel you. Does that suggest they're about to, to engage in a more serious crackdown on foreign correspondence? I think it's probably more selective than that. Uh, I think that there are certain people that they just don't want uh, in, in Russia at this time. It, uh, by all appearances, I'm one of them. Uh, I think that uh, the, the, the topics that need to be raised in Russia are going to be raised by very, very few people. And the Russians are well aware of who those people might be.